Veterans said their final goodbyes today to a longtime Boca Raton firefighter. Uh, earlier today, 50 year old John Wilson was a driver and an engineer for the city of Boca Raton Rescue for 15 years. News Channel 5's Ro Norman attended the service today. She's joining us live from outside of Riverside Memorial Park in Tequesta tonight. Ro? Good evening, Shannon. John Wilson celebrated his 50th birthday just 12 days ago, and today hundreds of his loved ones celebrated his legacy. He was loved by many. It's a sad day today. Friday morning, John Wilson's family, co-workers, and friends gathered at St. Peter's Catholic Church in Jupiter to honor him. Stephen Bradley worked as a city of Boca Raton firefighter for 31 years before retiring in 2005. Bradley says Wilson was great to work with. People on the fire department, when they knew John was going to be on duty that day, they looked forward to it. Wilson, a 15-year veteran firefighter with the city of Boca Raton Station Number 5, was hit and killed on Monday while riding his bike. John was an inspiration to all of us. He was a great man, great friend, great father. I mean, as you can see here today, just uh, with the turnout, a lot of people respected him, loved him. Before serving the community as a firefighter, Wilson finished culinary school in New York. He was known as a great chef who was more than willing to share his cooking talents. He was a great cook. Uh, I can remember one day my wife was telling me, you know, you put on a lot of weight, Steve. And I said, well, you know, I, I don't know what to tell you. I, I said, the only thing it could be is John Wilson's cooking. Wilson switched careers late in life and could have retired in five years. I don't know if John would have retired in another five. He, I think he loved the job too much to retire. Wilson leaves behind his wife of 26 years, Mary, and three sons. John, a West Palm Beach firefighter, Peter, and Charlie. Wilson was off duty at the time of the incident. No word yet if the driver of that car will be charged. Live in Tequesta, Ro Norman, WPTV News Channel 5. Now more than 25 fire trucks, ambulances, and police cars escorted Wilson to his final resting place today. We had the privilege of sitting in one of those emergency vehicles during that procession. Along with that... We spoke with firefighters today who knew Wilson very well during the ride. See this inside look at honoring a public servant. It airs tonight at 6 o'clock with News Channel 5's Mike Trim. And to